Hello. How are you? Welcome back to the best ever motor review show. Today's video is going to be a discussion on the long waiting period for the SUV Mahindra Scorpio N. There is little denying the fact that Mahindra cars are the most awaited cars in the Indian automobile sector. Every time a new car is launched, it is followed by a demand that takes everyone by surprise. The lately launched Mahindra Scorpio N is no exception. Launched to carry on the legacy of the old Mahindra Scorpio, the new Mahindra Scorpio N is studded with features and options to suit most of the potential customers in the Indian market. Starting at 11.99 lakh and going all the way up to 19.19 lakh, the Scorpio N caters to a very wide segment and it has been received very well by the audience. As of December 2022, the waiting period for a brand new Mahindra Scorpio N is anywhere between 4 months to over 2 years. Where the entry level Z2 variant of the Mahindra Scorpio N has a waiting period of 85 to 90 weeks, the second most affordable variant, Z4, can take up to 90 to 95 weeks from the time of booking to receiving the possession. Interestingly, the highest up variant Z8 is the one for which you have to wait the most at 100 to 105 weeks. The ZX luxury variant with the automatic transmission is the one with a minimum waiting period of 15 to 20 weeks. But the wait for the ZX luxury trim with a manual gearbox again goes up to 65 to 70 weeks. But what if you want a car more urgently than the Mahi Mahindra Scorpio N in flesh and blood? Well, here are some alternatives you can consider if you do not want to wait for almost two years before you get behind the wheel of your own car. Tata Harrier. Tata Harrier was an instant hit when it was launched back in 2019. The car looked beautiful and had an immense road presence. It was in sync with the new design theme that is very Land Roverish and is now followed by all Tata cars. The Tata Harrier was launched only with a 2-liter diesel engine and a 6-speed manual transmission. Soon, a 6-speed automatic was introduced and people had very little to complain about. Sadly, there is no petrol version available yet. The base variant of the Tata Harrier starts at 14.7 lakh, which is 2.7 lakh costlier than the base variant of the new Mahindra Scorpio N. The top end version of the Tata Harrier goes up to 22.2 lakh, which is over 1 lakh more than the top spec Mahindra Scorpio N. Apart from some of the features that are very trim specific, the Tata Harrier has a slightly better ground clearance than the Mahindra Scorpio N. There is no 4x4 option in the Tata Harrier, but the Mahindra Scorpio N2 has that only in the top end variant. The interiors and the seats of the Tata Harrier offer more comfort and premium feel, but that is very subjective. The lower height of the Tata Harrier gives you a more planted driving pleasure on the highways and the 6-speed automatic is refined and smooth. The Harrier can accommodate 5 adults with ease, which is standard for both the cars. Cars If you talk about the road presence, well, the Tata Harrier wins here. Waiting period for the Tata Harrier is lower than that of the Mahindra Scorpio N at 3 to 5 weeks. If lucky, you might get it instantly in some markets depending on the variant. Tata Safari. Relaunched in the Indian market, the Tata Safari is back with a lot of promises. From being a very capable SUV to being a 7-seater, it has a lot to offer to consumers. On the outside, the new Safari looks like a bigger version of the Tata Harrier, which says a lot about the looks of the car. Powered by the same 2-liter diesel engine as found in the Harrier, the new Tata Safari also comes with the option to choose between a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic transmission. Unfortunately, the 6-seat variant with captain seats in the second row is available only in the top variants, the XZ+ and XZA+. Even though the starting price of the new Tata Safari is more than that of the Mahindra Scorpio N or even the Tata Harrier, it also offers more than the two models we have discussed so far. The new Safari's base model with the manual gearbox starts at 15.35 lakh and the top end automatic trim goes all the way up to 23.56 lakh. It would be unfair to compare the Mahindra Scorpio N with the new Tata Safari due to the different segments they belong to, but it does live up to its name and the expectations people have from a Tata car. Depending on which trim excites you more, the entire range of the new Safari has something for everyone. The lack of a petrol engine might put some people off, but the diesel engine has enough to take you anywhere with ease. The new Tata Safari looks big on the road and does command your attention. 
The front and rear ends look sleek and the additional third row does not look forced. Unless going for the top two variants, it can house seven adults without it being a tight squeeze. The waiting period of three five weeks for the Tata Safari makes it a more lucrative option for many who do not want to wait for months slash years before being able to drive their own SUV. MG Hector Plus Another potential contender to consider as an alternative to the Mahindra Scorpio N is the MG Hector Plus. The MG Hector Plus is a three-row version of the successful MG Hector, but the addition of the third row without increasing the length of the car much makes it slightly uncomfortable for the third-row passengers. The car looks big on the outside, which is eye-catching on the road. The MG Hector Plus lets you choose between a 1.5-liter petrol and a 2-liter diesel engine. The transmission can be chosen from a 6-speed manual, a 6-speed automatic, or a CDT. This gives you a wide array of choices to choose from. The captain seats in the second row have been reserved only for the top two variants, and the seven-seater option is available across the lineup. The more affordable seven-seater version of the MG Hector Plus starts at 16.43 lakh, and the most expensive six-seater version goes up till 21 lakh. This price bracket is again not in sync with the Mahindra Scorpio N as the Tata Safari and the MG Hector Plus both offer more than the Scorpio N. The Hector Plus offers more utility and features as compared to the Scorpio N, and the almost zero waiting period does work in its favor too. The option to choose from a petrol and a diesel engine caters to a larger audience as well. The MG Hector Plus does look big on the road and has an impressive road presence. The typical MG front grille gives it an unmistakable look that cannot be confused with anything else in the market. The captain seats in the second row will attract a price rise for the same trim with a seven seating arrangement, but that will depend on your personal preferences. In most markets, the MG Hector Plus is readily available which makes it a serious option to consider if you do not intend to see the seasons change one after another without being able to enjoy them while cruising in your new car. Please tell us in the comments section, what you think about the Mahindra Scorpio N alternatives. Finally, we thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all upcoming video notifications. Tickle the like button and share the video with your friends in order to make YouTube mama happy. We will see you at the next one. Till then. Bye bye.